Hey everybody, and welcome to Master Debaters, a game where you debate your friends on a bunch of funny and silly topics. We're playing the Smosh Edition. We went through the cards and took out 90% of the cards, leaving a much smaller pile of ones that might be better. The, These are all the, the bad ones. Those are all the bad cards. Hey Ian, you're pretty cool though, dude. Yeah. Uh, just answer that DM whenever you get a chance. Um, start here, what happened? So, who's ready to debate? Two cards to win. That's all it takes. Oh, oh six and God, one. Dude. Who is that? It was it's you and Alex again. Let's just go, dude. I'm very popular. There, three. three. Jacob. Fine, okay. Why is your opponent a better pet person than you? You're saying, okay. A better, better, better person. person. Whoa. Round one, fight! I mean, first of all, let's start physically. His bicep is about three of my bicep, so he could probably snap me like a twig, like Bane in the Batman movies. His beard is full and luscious. When I cannot grow facial hair or any real body hair. I got my first uh, hairs on my armpits when I turned 16. That is true. <laughs> he dresses very well, very cleanly. Uh, I wear the same pair of pants, like most days. <laughs> wow. He's a lot more experienced. Uh, if you were gonna be tr stranded on an island with anyone, you probably wouldn't want to be with me. I'd just swim out into the ocean and drown. I'm not built for that sort of thing. I think he would be able to build a raft. He's probably done it before. I'm not even a full person yet. I just turned 14. I hadn't had my bots, Bart Smiths, uh, bots, Bart Smiths feet. Not a man yet. I give up. You know in the movie Logan, no one says, hey, Logan was a better person than X, what's her name? The little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Logan had to die to secure the promise of the little girl. And that's my role here at Couch Up. Every day ticks off until I know, on some level, that I can just finally die and let people with real potential go into their futures. And that's Jacob. He's young, he's got his whole life ahead of him, he's Canadian. You know, between the two of us, I've never been uh, tweeted at by any of the cast of Stranger Things. Clearly you've got more going on in your life, you're funnier, and I'm pretty much just here to get stabbed by my clone and make sure that you and all the other mutant kids can go off and form the next generation of the X-Men. Sounds pretty noble. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll take the notes. That's fine. Jacob, real potential Canadian. Uh, Stranger Things mutant. Uh, Brett is bad. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Brett builds rafts? Uh, three times the bicep. Warm, warm man. Jacob wears same pants. Uh, Jacob makes great points. Does that mean Brett should win? Never mind. Brett is humble bragging. <laughs> Bane is overrated. Jacob wants to kill people. Canada, period. Uh, Brett has lots of veins. <laughs> I gotta give it to Jacob. Um, I feel like just potential doesn't necessarily mean he's a good person. He potentially could be a good person, but as of right now, he's just that potential. <laughs> Which could amount to nothing, you never know. You lose. So now you're the judge. Yes, finally, get the judge. Wow. Order. Your Honor, I have to pee. No. <laughs> no, you're who right, Jacob is four? better. That's me. And who is two, is that Lindsay? Lindsay? Yeah. Me so and me versus Lindsay? All right. Do male nipples serve a purpose, yes or no? Round two, fight! What the hell can a man's nipple do? <laughs> Nothing. You know what a woman's nipple does? Everything. <laughs> Not off to a good start. They're nice to look at. Like any man here, because you're all men, fucking men here with useless nipples. Tell me that you don't like looking at a woman's nipple. Now, also, do you like looking at a man's nipple? No, because it's useless. Doesn't turn you on, doesn't do anything. It's just like covered in hair and shit. 
Uh, male nipples do serve a purpose. Have you ever seen somebody without nipples? It's weird looking. It's gross. It's like a Ken doll. Their purpose is aesthetic. They just need to be there. Plus, you could, they, they're still like reactive to like stimuli. Like it's still, you know, you could like flick a dude's nipple, get it a little perked up. That's a purpose. I'm, I don't know. I think I could do without a man having a nipple. I mean, it's like, really? Some nipples are so tiny that it's like, are they even there? No. I'll have the, uh, the jury please hand me your notes. <clears throat> just a great, just a great trial we had here today. Men's nipples look good too. Lindsay is sexist. And you watch the new Westworld. No, I have not watched the new Westworld. Although I, I do want to catch up on. Uh, male n nipples are nice to look at too. Imagine no nipples. Lindsay hates men, question mark. Lindsay has seen tiny nipples. <laughs> some nipples don't look good. Like some have hair and are really wide. Uh, get a nipple perked wide. up. Gross, Lindsay lost by the way. <laughs> to be honest, I think, uh, well, most of Lindsay's comments I do believe are just extremely and grossly sexist, um, just belittling an entire gender for the sake of the argument. Uh, I will also say that I don't remember what any of Asher's counterpoints were. I was too busy giving him less time to argue, and then I forgot anything he said. This, one, this one's a really tough one. Uh, I think the jury mostly decided uh, to give this point to Asher, unfortunately. Uh, for you, that is. So that's the minimum sentence of 15 years, no bail, uh, and you'll have to pay a $20,000 fine to the, uh, the National Males Association. You lose. Me and Alex. Nice. Why is the person sitting to your right the coolest person in this room? Not the best, the coolest. Round three, what can I say about Lindsay? Um, as we all know, Lindsay is the coolest person in this office. Whenever you need something, who are you gonna go to? Someone else? No, you go to Lindsay. Why? Because she's just fucking cool, dude. Have you seen what she drives? It's a dope yellow car. I don't know anyone that has a yellow car, but the point is, cool people drive yellow cars, therefore, Lindsay is cool. Also, I mean... <laughs> what makes someone cool? Number one, on the top of that list, ask anybody, it's confidence. And I think James secretes confidence. He may, he, he may, he's honest with himself and his own position in the world, and he's confident in it, okay? You ask James, James, why, why you been wearing fucking Skechers since you, for years? He'll say, they're shit, and I know, and I don't care. What is that? That's cool, that's confident. James has a ton of money, he drives a Honda Civic. What is that? That's cool, that's confidence. He wears these baggy jeans, he doesn't give a fuck, because <laughs> he knows who he is, he's very confident in himself. Not to mention, look at this shirt that he's wearing right now. Do you guys know this shirt? This brand supports mental health awareness and he wears it with confidence because he's cool. And that's what cool people do. All right, jury. Yeah, it's a cologne, right? Okay, just I don't wear right cologne. Away, washing detergent? Did you get a new washing detergent? No. Do I stink? It's just, the shirt is clean. I washed it this weekend. Yellow submarine. Lindsay is sexist. Put in the time. Nothing matters. Who cares? I am pretty cool. Linz is n cool, but then wrote in the word not. Wow. <laughs> Both of those arguments seemed like uh, opportunities for low-key roasts of the person that you were supposedly championing. You know, it's 2018 though, and I gotta stand with the ladies, you know, and their right to be the coolest person in the room. And I think you convinced me. I think you really made it a cultural argument that went beyond just a fear Hashtag of unemployment. Me too. Yeah. So I'm gonna give that one to Alex. I'm gonna give that one to Alex. Yes. Congratulations. Good job, Lindsay. That was that was not a cool that was move. Not cool. Damn man. The fuck? No one here is cool. <laughs> you lose. Five, who's five? 
Me. So it's gonna be James versus Ooh. Alex. Is it possible to have a best friend of the opposite sex and just stay friends? A best friend, yes or no? Final round, fight! Uh, why wouldn't a woman be able to be your best friend? You, know, it's, you can have a friend that's a woman, that's a best friend, but you can't just stay friends, you know? It's always gonna be a little extra. I mean, I understand you specifically probably couldn't, because you have that temptation, you would cross that line. I'm sorry, am I? <laughs> I didn't, even get, I didn't even get a chance to have an argument here. I thought it was, I thought it was my turn, but I'm, I'm almost being over, overshadowed here. Go ahead. Erasing all my notes, sorry. I'm gonna give you the best example. Best real life example. The Friends show. Every single one of them was best friends. Yeah. Do you know how many of them didn't have sex with each other? Uh, no, I don't, I don't know. I've never watched A very show. small percentage is what I'll say. So you just, that's my point. What? <laughs> that's my point. So you're saying they still had sex on, on, on yes, friends? Yes, they weren't just friends, okay? <laughs> I don't, I never saw the show, so I don't know if that's true or not. Do you have a, a woman that's a best friend? Absolutely not. Case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> okay, notes please. <laughs> I mean, I've already decided, but I'm gonna read these notes. This is, ooh, a very impressive drawing of James. Ooh, what? It's just a drawing of James. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's a side profile. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay should veto it. it. This sucks, my tummy hurts, I feel sick. James won, yuck. James called Alex not normal. James called fucking knocking it up. I'm disgusted. <laughs> what? <laughs> What the up. fuck was Alex that? Alex has started over twice. 2018, but women also like sex and are not androids. Friends was a fuck fest. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that you can be best friends and not want to fuck each other. Whoa! Ooh. Alex won? Best friends. That's there was some dude. personal agenda in there. That's okay. You already decided right out of the gate. <laughs> Every single note about me was, Lindsay is a sexist, so I don't want to hear about personal agenda. Well, congratulations. Nicely done. Hey, you won, you won the case. You win. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you pretty much closed that argument for yourself. Game over. Ah. Lindsay is sexist. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Master Debaters where we debated each other with hot trivia topics such as are Cheetos considered chips and is soup a cereal or the other way around. Anyway, if you want to watch more of our videos, click over here, over here, wherever the box is. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for much more content in the future where we play other board games uh, from other YouTubers. It's sad when I say it out loud. <laughs>